What is up, guys? I got Age of Ultron playing. I'm gonna turn it off before I get in trouble for taking a bad uh, video of Age of Ultron. Turn the volume off. I'm gonna keep watching it while we uh, have a little chat. Uh, welcome to this first unboxing, but there's no box, of a Marvel Legends figure. So I'm new to Marvel Legends, sort of. The very first Marvel Legends figure that I ever got, I actually kind of forget where I got it. I think I got it from my sister-in-law's house. Her kids um, didn't want it anymore, didn't need it anymore, and here it is right here. It's the Mark 42 Iron Man armor. Um, as you can see, this figure has been well loved. This is the condition that I got it in, but. Um, this has just been kind of kicking around my basement nerdy stuff for a while and then just as I recently discovered uh, the rest of Marvel Legends I kind of realized wait a minute I already have a Marvel Legend figure so yeah so I have a Marvel, Marvel Legend figure but today I wanted to take the first Marvel Legend figure out of the package and I'm going to start with this Ultimate Spidey that was in the previous episode um, the big haul of stuff, and I've never taken it out yet. I wanted to wait, record it, and uh, yeah, show you guys what I think of it. So let's go dive right in and get this guy out of here. I know a lot of other uh, reviewers that I'm watching on the YouTubes, they kind of skip over this part, and I think that's fine, but this one's already out of the box, so I figured. What the heck, we'll, we'll leave it in. And I don't really feel like editing my videos, to be honest, guys. I've, uh, I've done videos before that I've had to edit, but... Oh, man. This guy is cool. A little loose at the waist, but it's got, uh, like, a ratcheting articulation in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. I just... It's really, really cool. It's interesting, the muscles, oh, this one's kind of stiff here, kind of stiff, but there we go, got it to line up the muscle shape on the legs, oh, it didn't line up, it's kind of neat, I kind of like that detail that they put in these figures, so let's take a, a close look at that spidey head, try to use my lighting to the best effect, I love this look for Spider-Man, because this is Ultimate Spidey, um, as illustrated by Mark Bagley, he did the pencils for the first like a hundred and I don't know, 115 issues of Ultimate Spider-Man, and then they had it was nope, the name escapes me. I was gonna say a name, but then I'm like, no, that's not it. Someone else do them, and then Bagley, came, Mark Bagley came back, and I just love Bagley's style. So this Spider-Man, I'm really, really excited about it. Oh, it's ratcheting ab crunch, too. I did not expect it to be ratcheting, like a Rebel Tech kind of thing. That's pretty good. He looks straight up. He looks down pretty good. Let's get, uh, let's get these hands off. So there's only one whipping hand. The other hands are for wall crawling. Let's take the fist I hope I don't break it, and I hope I don't knock over the camera, because that would suck, because it's my phone. There we go. We got it. Okay. Let's get a wall crawling hand out of this package. Gently, gently. I don't want it to go flying across the basement, because that would suck too. Okay. I hope it fits. This is my first time swapping parts on a Marvel Legends figure. So I hope I don't have to like trim that, clean up this flashing here. I don't know. I don't know guys, I'm new to this. This is kind of fun. New toys. Okay, cool. That went in really easy. No issues, no problems. Let's let's change this hand too. Let's make him crawl some walls. Let's see if we can get some of the, the classic, so the classic kind of, Issues of Ultimate Spider-Man are the first five issues. Issue one, 
uh, hard to find. Obviously, it's issue one. But then what happened was because Marvel didn't know how the the issue, how the, the uh, comic book was being received, issue five was actually a short run. So if you ever see an issue five out in the wild, uh, you need to snap it up if it's at a reasonable price because issue five was a very, very short printing. Double jointed knees. Does the foot move forward? It doesn't have the, the, the articulated toes, so it's going to be hard to pose this guy in a super kind of ultimate spidey way. But, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty sweet though. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, well, I'm digging this figure. This is so fun. Spidey crawling away. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing... Oh, okay, so the toe points like he's going to do some ballet or something. But to get the, the toes pointing up, I don't think it's going to do it. Which is unfortunate. That's probably the only thing I don't like about the figures. The the, you can't point the toes up. So for like a super articulated Spider-Man toy, you'd kind of hope he could do that. So that'd be some constructive criticism for the fine ladies and gentlemen at, at Hasbro. But I know this is an older figure. Um, let me just look up a picture of Ultimate Spider-Man. I had all the comic books, but I sold them because I was putting a lot of time and money into comic books. And I didn't want to do that anymore. I want to do other things. Okay, let's go for this pose. This looks like a good pose. So he's kind of looking down. He's got his arm straight back like this. Like he's flying through the air. Another arm straight back just like this. This one we can actually do. Ab crunch forward, leg way up in the, oh, hang on a sec. Leg down, leg up. Okay, it doesn't go up as high as I thought it would. It's okay, we can compensate by angling it out. And then this leg goes all the way up underneath, like so. And there you go, there's the, one of the collected collections of Ultimate Spidey, the cover art, the pose. See if I can get it right. Yeah, I can't get the leg to go higher than that. The in the comic book cover, the knee is all the way almost up at his head, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this figure to do that. And the leg's kind of out like this. Like he's flying through the air. Okay, one more thing I want to do while we've got him in this Spidey-like pose, I'm gonna put the flipping hand back on. And then I got, we'll just, we'll just do this. We'll turn this, do this. And then I had a, f a figure that I got from the Disney store for my daughter. Came with one of these things. So we will attempt to wrap it around Spidey's wrist to make it look like he's shooting webs. I've seen lots of other people do this. This is a good idea. This is a good thing. This is a very, very good thing. There you go. So now, not only is Spidey flying through the air, I don't have any stands yet. I gotta get some nice fancy stands. He's also shooting a web right at you. That is awesome. Loving it. Loving it. If this is any indication of what Marvel Legends figures are like, this is we're off to a good start. I'm gonna love playing with these guys. This is so cool. Okay, we're gonna switch hands again. We're gonna make him fight Iron Man. Let's make him fight. Because that's the only other figure I got. I don't have any other Legends figures yet. I'm gonna be taking a swing at Iron Man. Whoa. 
winding up. Gonna get into a knuckle duster with Iron Man. Stay there. Don't move. Okay, lie down for a minute. Iron Man's gotta get into a dynamic pose too. A little bit more. It's gonna be more threatening than that. I want that arm to be up, like yeah, yeah. There we go. He's actually gonna clock somebody. Yeah, there we go. The Iron Man's gonna clock Spidey right in the face. Showdown. It's pretty sweet. I don't have a display diorama thingy yet. I'm gonna make one. Actually, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use some of the stuff from the select figures that I got that I picked up. And then I'll have something much cooler to pose the figures with. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's my unboxing with no box and review of Ultimate Spidey. My favorite comic book, Spider Man, because it's the one that I grew up with and absolutely loved the artwork from. Mr. Mark Bagley. So yeah, thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!